play. Tonight, you dine in hell. Let's do this. This is Sparta! Triple kill! Monster kill. I'm just getting warmed up. Eat lead. It ain't over yet. Your tactical nuke is ready for launch. Tactical nuke incoming! You've got a lot of guts. Let's see what they look like. Triple kill! Holy shit! Perfect. That's how we do it. Prepare to fight. Okay, you dumb stumbling cadavers. You're all headed for the moon. This time, come on. What is up guys, welcome back to my first Black Ops 4 Zombies video and if I look like a little Jimmy, if I say something wrong about Black Ops 4 Zombies that's because I'm a little potato at this, I'm still new at you know Black Ops 4 Zombies, still learning I started playing Zombies like two days ago, uh, Black Ops 4 Zombies and uh, yeah, so with that out of the way ladies and gentlemen, Treyarch did, you know Black Ops 3 Zombies and Black Ops 4 Zombies are very similar but Treyarch did some pretty cool things in Black Ops 4 Zombies that we had never seen before so I think this makes Zombies a little bit more juicy than what they were before in Black Ops 3 you know I, I'm not gonna lie I think I kind of like Black Ops 4 Zombies a little bit more than Black Ops 3 Zombies but hey that's just me let me know what you guys think in the comment section below we have been asking for some of these changes for a very long time and finally they are here so let's talk about the cool stuff I like about Black Ops 4 Zombies so the first thing is that for the first time in Call of Duty history we have four zombie maps at launch so this year zombies players are not getting bored of zombies until the new map comes out because instead of the traditional one map we have four of them there's classified which is five from black ops 1 bullet of the dead which is mob from black ops 2 voyage of despair and also the map 9 or the two new maps the first two are remastered so my favorite is the map 9 because I mean it is set in a gladiator arena type of thingy you're a freaking beast fighting for your life in a gladiator arena the crowd is cheering epic music is playing the voice announcer is a badass you have to fight sweaty nerds which are the champions on steroids they will try to 1v1 you 2v1 you and sometimes when they are really pissed off is just a full round of champions and uh, you've also got uh, the uh, biblical beast the blight father which is super annoying and uh, you've got you know the god Zeus you know the temple of uh, zoos and whatever and the viking stuff and all the other stuff which is pretty cool i really love the setting of uh, this map and then we have a thing number two which is related to the zombie shields for the first time there's a health bar for the zombie shield this way you can see when the shield is about to break that's pretty awesome you can also repair your shield instead of you know having to wait for a zombie to destroy it you just go to the to the uh to the um, zombie shield bench and you pay 500 bucks boom it is new and uh, you can also shoot through the shield just like in the multiplayer which is something we have never been able to do before and finally the last awesome thing Treyarch did to the zombie shield is that uh, finally for the first time you get points for killing zombies while using the shield so that's pretty awesome and the shield is definitely pretty cool you can use it for killing the champions on the map 9 very 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 easily and uh, my favorite shield is definitely the brazen bull from the map 9 it's just it looks so freaking awesome guys and then we have thing number three this we have been asking for a very long time finally for the first time max ammo gives you all your ammo back how easy was this to fix man we could have had this you know in Black Ops 1 so all the days of terror are gone you know when you had the max ammo but your gun was not reloaded yet and a little Jimmy was about to get it and you would be screaming no and the little Jimmy would take the max ammo and then you would lose like 30 rounds on your gun which was definitely 
pretty annoying. All they had to do was wait like five seconds, let everyone reload. But no, the little Jimmy's didn't care. They just want, they just wanted to get the shiny thing that was right in front of them. So as I said, those days of terror are gone. Now the little Jimmy's can do their thing because everyone will always get their ammo back. That is definitely pretty cool. The thing number four on this list is also related to uh, little Jimmy's and also something we have been asking for a very long time. Finally, we can give guns from the mystery box to our teammates how many times have you seen a sweaty nerd with 50,000 points using the mystery box for five minutes in a row and right next to him there's a pool a poor little Jimmy with just 200 points he cannot buy a new gun he's just looking at all the guns the sweaty nerd is buying and he's like oh man I wish I was as good as this guy I wish I could get past the first you know the starting pistol because the little Jimmy is a little potato he cannot kill anyone now you can finally give all the guns you don't want to to the guy next to you looking at the mystery box maybe he'll want that gun and maybe he'll be able to save some points for a new perk or something like that so i definitely like this little change and then we have ladies and gentlemen thing number five Treyarch changed the perk system a little bit so the first thing is that there's no more jug finally we can use four perks because before because you always had to buy jug in reality you could only use three perks and i'm not you know, I'm not counting with gobble gums and stuff like that. Um, so with Jug out of the way, uh, at first I was like, oh my god, what is Shrek doing? Uh, they got rid of Jug, this is gonna suck. But no, everyone starts the game with 200 points of health. So it's the same thing as starting the game with Jug. This change also gives Little Jimmy's a chance of getting past round 5 without dying. Because before, instead of using the little points they would get to buy Jug, they would spend all those points on the mystery box trying to get the Reagan or whatever, and then they would die because they didn't have Jug. Now because everyone starts the game with 200 points, uh, little Jimmy's don't die as much, at least on the early round. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, thing number six. Each character has a special rechargeable weapon, which is definitely pretty cool because in Black Ops 3, I think only one player could get the Annihilator, only one player could get the um, Gravity Spikes, and that kind of sucked, right? Now everyone can use a unique special weapon. I use Thor's Hammer, whatever you want to call it, because it is super badass. And it's actually very good. It kills, I think it kills zombies on any round. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's a champion, it if it's Brutus, whatever, you will just destroy them. So if you are, I, I to always try to save those guns for, you know, a cheeky situation. If I'm about to die, boom, I'll use that bad boy. Don't just use it to kill normal zombies. And then we have a thing number seven. Treyarch changed the gobble gums a little bit. And that is definitely pretty cool. They got rid of the gobble gum machines. Now you you get all four uh, gobble gums you selected for using during the game as soon as the game starts. But the thing is that when you use one then you have to wait like 20 seconds to be able to use your gobble gums again it's something pretty cheeky not a big deal but hey I kind of like the new change and then we have ladies and gentlemen thing number eight for the first time we can play with bots and this is pretty cool for the people that are forever alone they have no friends or they have the worst connection of all time they cannot play with anyone because they start lagging now you can play with some cheeky bots it still counts towards the leaderboard they are pretty cool bots will uh, open doors for you they have pretty good accuracy they will not complain they will not make you lag the thing is that their only weakness is that when they go down all of them when one of them goes down all of them go down because they will stop whatever they're doing to revive their little buddies in this also includes you so don't expect bots to revive you if you go down the game is pretty much over but yeah it's pretty cool that we're able to play with bots and then we have a thing number nine for the first time we have a difficulty levels when we're playing solo so you know this is pretty cool because it allows you to test how good you are at zombies there's easy normal hard and i guess very hard or or real life whatever you want to call it uh, this is pretty cool because it gives zombies you know more replay value and finally the last change Treyarch did is that or new thing that Treyarch put in Black Ops 4 is that uh, there's classic which is you know playing for rounds and there's also rush so classic is you know playing normal uh, usually takes you like uh, a couple of hours right playing on classic but rush is pretty fast paced if you don't have time to 
you know play zombies for like one two hours or more you can just play rush which goes very fast it's super chaotic you have to complete challenges and if you fail a challenge the game is over so sometimes you have to play on a certain area and just stay there you cannot leave sometimes you have to use a certain gun it's pretty hard guys I'm not gonna lie uh, not as hard as playing on the difficulty which is extreme whatever it's called but uh, you know it's pretty cool if you just have time for like playing zombies for an hour you play rush and you'll still have fun I think it's pretty cool so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all these new changes thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time peace out